This video is about coils and their appliances and it is very difficult to show in 3 minutes or 4 minutes uh, how coils can be applied. But I want to do an attempt. Here are all kinds of coils. Anyway, at first the transformer coil here. Used to um, change the 230 volts or 110 volts into a low voltage, say 12 volts. That's here. Transformer coil. Has a core from laminated iron. Important uh, to tell. Anyway. The next coil is the choke coil. The choke coil is always frequency dependent, but that's also that also applies to the transformer coil. Such a co coil has a heavy core made from iron, laminated iron, to give it good properties on low frequencies. On higher frequencies, ferrite is used often. So the choke coil is frequency dependent and you can find choke coils with laminated iron for lower frequencies and ferrite. Ferrite is this material, the black material, it's ceramic, baked in iron particles. So for higher frequencies choke coils we use uh, this type of material. Ferrite. Of course in every coil you can store energy. That's also one of the properties from coils. When you look in the radio theory you can find it everywhere. That's also a property from uh, oscillator coils, choke coils, etc. But a typical uh, core coil to store energy is for instance here. This is by the way not a typical uh, uh, energy storing coil from a computer power supply. You can find them there. But this is for, from an old TV set. But surely this kind of coil can store energy. And also this coil can store energy. It depends on the frequency etc etc. So you can send in here a current. And when the coil drops its energy back into the circuit, uh, you have the situation that the stored energy is given back to an electronic circuit. There are also filter coils and uh, I hope that's not boring but to tell, but all, all coils can be used as a filter coil. This one the transformer coil also and all these coils here can be used as a filter coil because they are all frequency dependent and with a filter we have the uh, certain issue that it is frequency dependent. So you can consider an antenna coil as a filter coil and also this coil the transformer as a filter coil for 50 Hz. Anyway, for audio, let's say between 20 Hz and 20 kHz, you can use a low cut filter, is made in this way. And in these filters, for instance in loudspeaker boxes, you will often find these kinds of filters. And there is also a high cut, high cut filter that's here. And of course we have an impedance here, so a complex input resistance and a complex output resistance. That's why I've drawn here two 1K uh, resistors for the case that you want to test a filter on its high cut properties. You can use for instance this filter to test it on its high cut properties. Uh, here you connect for instance. CD player and here a good quality 
uh, audio amplifier with a loudspeaker. Then you can test how this filter will sound. You can use all these coils for that experiment, even this one. And you will surely see how these coils will act. But when the inductance is low, you will not see much effect. For instance, such a coil like this, typical antenna coil with a low inductance from say 400 microhenry, you will not see much effect in audio. Anyway, perhaps it will uh, shut off the high frequency somewhat. Also, you can use a coil as an oscillator coil for in the radio. I've published many oscillators and I want to refer to all the oscillator uh, circuits on my YouTube channel. And also a radio antenna coil. That's also an application from coils. Here we have one, two, three radio antenna coils. Long wave, medium wave, medium wave and VHF. But of course coils are more or less universal and this can also be used as a filter but then on high frequencies because the inductance from such a uh, coil is very low. Not to forget the filter coil to filter out disturbances, disturbances from um, the main supply. This is an old one. In computer power supplies you can see surely always a filter and here for instance is a computer power supply from a very old computer, a DOS computer from the 1980s and here we see the power supply filter. To stop all the disturbances filter out all the peaks, peak disturbances, disturbances from the uh, main supply on 100, 110 volt or 230 volts, 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Uh, there's a whole wealth of things to tell about coils, but anyway, I want to keep it very short and I hope to publish in the text box some more formulas about how to calculate coils and their frequency. Anyway, I wish you luck.